Good evening, everybody. I'm back after a uh, little hiatus there. Have some uh, schedule shifts going on, so I might have to rename the uh, the topic here to uh, just Skyrim Maximus or something like that. I'm still going to put something out every week, but uh, just the days are going to be messed up. Tonight we're doing Sunday Night Maximus. Not quite as cool as Monday Night Maximus, but, you know... Every bit just as fun. Now we're going to come back and, as always, I sold everything off using the appropriate uh, stones in order to help the levels out. And we're starting out from Anissa's cabin, otherwise known as, oh, mining a black bear is a, a little abode. Romantic getaway, whatever. Let's see. We're going to take a little walk over to... I think we were running through all this stuff the last time here. Hmm. Gloombound mine. Oh, that was the one where I got a whole bunch of ore. There's nothing there. Craig Wallow Slope. Um. I think I've been in the Northwind mine before. I'm going to go back to the Boulder Fall Cave. I'm not going to go in, though. I'm going to go north, uh, northwest from there. We'll see what we can find. Let's see, so we gotta go north and west. I really ought to buy a horse, because it'll make it real easy to get around. Still have to watch out, because there's plenty of bears. One thing I will say is that I did, uh, I found out that I have, like, a ton of, uh, the small soul gems. The petty soul gems that I, uh, had that were filled, so I really upped, uh, I upped all of the, uh, amounts of magicka that are in my, so now, yeah, notice I've got the really cool looking uh, glass sword that looks just like the chiller end, except for it doesn't let off that really cool, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, the, the chilling effect. It's also sizzling too, which I hope isn't too annoying to everybody. But I figure what I'll do is I'll hit them with the chiller end until I freeze them and then uh, finish them off with the glass. See if we can get some antlers. Antlers! I want small antlers. Yeah. Clear spring tarn, huh? Small antlers. Alright, we got some. Hey, there's a hunter. Is that a hunter? Or... Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa! Look at him go down the hill. Unfortunately, it broke the antlers. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so what I want to know is, are these guys after me or you what? You can't hide from me. Can't hide Over from here. Me? Oh. <sighs> what? I can take you. I can this take you. you. <laughs> Must be talking to the... That's funny. They're talking to the uh, little prey down there. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, wow. I don't know about this. This might be a little mistake. So the first thing you get to do today is watch me die. Trying to be a little bit more interesting. You know? Deaths are pretty common with this, uh, with this guy. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Whoa! Yeah, I shouldn't take shots like that, though. You know what? I do have a potion here that would help. I do know for a fact. I've been looking for a good reason to use this, because, uh, yeah. It doesn't really help in a fight, but if you're not in a fight, regeneration's pretty cool. As long as I don't fall down a couple more big jumps like that. That was quite by accident, too. I wonder if I should head up to one of those caves. Looks pretty interesting. 
We've got a whole bunch of caves here. Oh, hey, we got some, uh, what, wolves? Is that a skeever? Is that a skeever? That's a skeever. You know what? A skeever. I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna waste my stuff on you. Pick up the alchemy ingredient. Keep moving. So anyway, yeah, I've been working on my garden, and that's taking over some of the some of the Fridays. And as everybody knows, I play video games with my friend on Friday nights. So he comes over and uh, brings his PS4. Lately, we've been playing uh, some pretty good homebrew games. We've got uh, Salt and Sanctuary is pretty uh, pretty awesome. In fact, it's pretty good for a uh, two-player co-op game. We discovered some cool little secrets to it where you can, uh, when you're playing two players, you can have one person warp to the other person just by going in their menu. Snap Leg Cave. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of what I've been doing, snapping my legs. Ooh, what do we got here? Gee. Alright. I'm game. A game, but before I do, I'm gonna save. See, nothing like bloody goat's heads on a uh, on a skewer to say welcome. Let's take a look around here and see if we can find anything cool and useful. What do we got going on? Is that a person or is that a? Nah, that's another totem something on a skewer. Makes me wonder what's in here. Dang. They're just like beating everything up and stuffing their heads on skewers. They look like skewers. Anything cool around the edges? No. Well that's funny. So they've got skewers down below. We got skeevers on poles, but why are the skeevers down below if they're all on poles? Wouldn't you think it'd scare the skeevers away? Alright, let's see here. Iron arrow is the lowest arrow on the totem pole for us. Which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm, I'm a quarter native myself, and I've never really gotten the lowest man on the totem pole because anybody who knows anything about... Uh, uh, Native history knows that the low man on the totem pole actually holds a position of honor because they're holding the rest of the pole up. Oh, look at that! Picked off the fast fever. Oh, Ingen's got that one. I hope I didn't just mess up my aiming because you know uh, very well that there's a little glitch that happens with the. Uh, A little glitch that happens with the aiming when you change views with your arrows. Sometimes it uh, makes you just start uh, spouting arrows for no reason. I don't even know where the one she killed went. I just bopped him and said, have a nice day. Maybe it wasn't here. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, we wanted him because he had the six gold. So anyway, yeah. That's a common misnomer there that uh, people say, a misquote, because yeah, the low man on the totem pole actually has the most honorable position because they hold everybody else up on the pole, so. Just a little, uh. Aw, oh, man, large antlers. Didn't want large ones, I wanted small. It's for healing potions, by the way, in case you didn't know. Most everybody probably has played enough to know what it's for, but. Got going on here? Looks like a taproot. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna fight Spriggins. I do remember those guys. Oh! Oh, witch. Is it a witch of beast witch? Oh! Witch goes down! Number two goes down. No soul gems, large enough. 
Darn. I wish I had an empty black soul gem. I could have bought one, but I didn't. Bought a couple soul gems, but... Alright. I can do this here. Eh. Oh well. I was gonna try and save the arrow, but oh well. Huh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. Golly. Was not expecting that. What is that, that Denver? Dark Elf? Hey, you know what, though? If it's a proper witch coven, here's some lore for you guys. If it's a proper witch coven, it's got to have at least three. Don't you remember Charmed? The show is okay. <laughs> Staff of Paralysis, oh cool. Soul Gem Fragments, Death Bell, Soul Gem Fragments, great. Potion of Strength, more Soul Gem Fragments. I think I can put those together with the ones that I found from Inalta, in, in, I don't even know how to pronounce it, in Inalta's Deep. I do apologize guys, uh, yeah, I did give myself a little uh, rum and coke tonight. So if I'm a little bit, uh, blah, 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 that's the reason why. Our shield of dwindling shock. Unfortunately, I think I already have, have something that's with dwindling shock. These Antronarch uh, spells will be nice to get into the College of Winterhold if you can actually use one to get in there. I'm not sure if you can or not, but we'll find out. <laughs> See, we just got a, a big long femur. I don't know, I was expecting to fight. Uh, I was expecting to fight some Spriggans with the taproot there. I have a feeling that that's going to be the exit. But you know what? Uh, it doesn't have to be the exit. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Nice shooting, Tex. Oh, maybe it will have to be the exit. But you know what? Doing stuff through there. All right, and I'm a wimp. I'm gonna save again. So who knows how powerful those witches were? Probably not that powerful, because I aced them pretty good. I don't see anything through the bars. I know that I can shoot stuff through the bars. That's your best, huh? Inga must be trying to go all the way around to get back to me. She's so awesome. She's probably kicking the crap out of stuff right now. I'm gonna go through it. It's gonna be just dead bodies everywhere. called Break Leg Cavern. Oh, wait a second. That's right around to the beginning again. Ha! <laughs> what? How did I not find this? Wow. Okay, shaking my head. Okay, again, how many people did you kill? How many are still after us? Let me take one little look-see over here again. Alright, don't see anything. And we're gonna shoot an arrow. No red dots. No enemies. Alright. How many people have you killed so far? Or did you just kill more skeevers? Oh, you kill more skeevers. Eesh. 
spiders. Kind of hate spiders in this game. Desiccated corpse with a lockpick for me. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to burn some stuff in here. Magic. Destruction. Flames. Not the fire. <laughs> Sometimes it'll burn away. Back to the weapons. Uh, chill hand. One of these days I'm gonna put stuff up on favorites. That way I can go over there and just quick cycle through. It's been a long time since I played. As if you couldn't tell. Huh. Okay. Oh, no, no. I see that from a mile away. Do you see what I see? Yeah, that little trap right there. I know better. We'll just take out the normal elven bow. No need to waste soul on this. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I hit it. Nice. on uh, Maximus here if it was on some other playthrough, but you might have seen where, uh, oh hey, boss chest, you might have seen where uh, I was actually playing through and one of those just aced me in one shot, that was really not cool. <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, there we go. We got little spiders. Okay, fine. Souls? No souls. Souls? Eh, no souls. Don't need souls right now. Do -do -do -do. Two out of two. One more to go. Come on, where are you at? That might be it, maybe. Oh, yeah! Heh <laughs> That's how you get it done. Of course, there's probably going to be a billion that drop from the ceiling up from me on this one. You know what? Yeah, let's not make any. Not take any chances here. This totally looks like a big, huge trap. I'm sorry, but it does. It looks like a trap. Big, huge trap. It's the interesting thing about spiders, too, is that a lot of spiders, a lot of people just attack spiders for nothing. There are actually some spiders that are actually good to uh, eat other bad spiders. Like the brown house spider isn't that bad towards humans at all. And it eats black widows and the uh, ferocious and feared bra brown recluses. I almost said black recluse. <laughs> That's a uh, little throwback to Terraria in the game. Hard mode, they have uh, black recluses along with the brown ones. There's definitely something in here. It has to be. No? 
I'm not buying this at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, forget it. Take out children. Freeze you, spider! Freeze you! Freeze you! Freeze you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna hit you. We're gonna freeze you again. Of antidote? No. Darn, I really don't want to use my healing. But plentiful 75. Okay, plentiful. Plentiful it is. Just die. So you're gonna die. Oh, 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 is there another one? There. Search the spiders. That must have been a super kill cam. No, I don't know why I'm taking the frostbite venom. The frostbite venom really isn't worth that much, truthfully. Hey, you can get back up. It's okay. It's only a little poison. It'll go away. Alright. Speaking of a little poison, take another drink. So if you want to make a pretty darn delicious rum and coke, which is uh, what I've got tonight, all you need is uh, one of those world famous Coca-Cola glasses. And all you have to do is get yourself some uh, black seal rum, some Gosling's black seal rum, and have some crushed ice. I actually have mine from the refrigerator. And then a little bit of uh, Coca-Cola, the regular stuff works the best. Now you gotta do is fill the bottom of the glass because a uh, real coke glass is gonna have the, those little ridges on the bottom. Fill it up to about the top of the ridges with your crushed ice. Then you pour your rum in and you pour it in to where it's about oh I'd say a finger from the uh, from the top of those uh, the top of those ridges then you fill the rest of it with coca-cola and the cool thing about it is is that uh, in the beginning when you first pour it in it'll make a nice head on it just like a beer that's poured from draft so that's pretty cool let's see if I can put anything again I know I know I haven't opened it yet I will open it give me a second See, I knew something was coming because if you take a look, yeah, that looks like a bit huge. 